You've been to an ortho, two neuros, and an immunologist. None of the treatments have had any effect. You think it's over? It's getting worse. Last neurologist found intermittent numbness in both arms as well as the hand paralysis. I meant the game. You think he's going to keep all four of us? He said he would. No sign of upper motor neuron involvement. He lies. My ears are burning. Tell him you're done firing people. Well, if I lie, that would be a little reassurance. Dr. Kuttner, who told you that it would be a good idea to put up superficial representations of a hypocritical season celebrating a mythical figure? It wasn't me. He lied. Homie knows better. Jaime doesn't care. And Huntington's would have done a better job. I don't have Huntington's. That you know of. Why would you? Because I got sued when I called you honey buns. Am I fired if I put up? The point of the game was to scare us. Telling us it's over isn't scary. Therefore, he has no reason to say that unless it's true. Good. Then can we do a secret Santa? I liked you better 15 seconds ago when you were afraid for your job. So who's sick? 35-year-old single mom. It's an odd presentation of paralysis. Is there any history of drug use? No. She says there's no history. She's not a liar. OK, well, this is going to be a tough case. I have almost no knowledge of alien physiology. Everyone lies, but there's an exception to every rule. Actually, there isn't. That's kind of what makes it a rule. The patient's mother died of breast cancer when she was seven. She never even knew her mom was sick. She promised herself she would never hide anything from her own daughter. Oh, I didn't know she'd promised. And we're not her daughter. The patient inherited the BRCA1 mutation from her mom. She had a prophylactic double mastectomy 10 years ago. She lied about it. She told her coworker. She told her kid. She lied to the world. Reconstructive surgery is designed to convince people that she didn't get reconstructive surgery. OK, we can rule out breast cancer. Actually, I was going to rule it in. Paralysis could be paraneoplastic. Even the best surgeon can't remove every cell of breast tissue. MRI, what's left of her chest? Set the machine to scan for irony. I'm going to go redo the patient history. Your mom tell you about all the drugs she does? She smokes pot once in a while, but not in a long time. What about you? How would that make her sick? Are you a doctor? I'm 11. That's not an answer. It's an evasion. Are you drinking? You ever sneak a drink? I don't do any of that stuff. It's bad for you. I understand why you don't want your mom to know. But I'm her doctor. So. And I would tell my mom. And I would tell you. Why? Because she would never lie to me. What's her favorite way to have sex? I don't get what sex has to do with breast cancer. Are you a doctor? Did you go to med school since the last time I asked? And you just think we got to be lying to White us. lies? What are those? Those are lies we tell to make other people feel better. I don't lie. Rationalizations? What are those? Those are lies we tell to make ourselves feel better. No, we lies don't. Lies of omission? Saddle bronc or doggy. It's sex talk. She used to like being on top, but now she likes to be on her stomach. That way she doesn't have to see them looking at her scars. It's child abuse. Honesty? There's a reason that everybody lies. It works. It's what allows society to function. It's what separates man from beast. Oh, I thought that was our thumbs. You want to know every place your mom's thumb has been? I'm sorry, I missed rehearsal. Am I taking the truth is good side? Don't you usually take our that part? Lies are a tool. It can be used either for good. No, wait, I got a better one. Lies are like children. They're hard work, but they're worth it because the future depends on them. You are so full of love or something. When you care about something, you lie to them. You pretend that their constant ponderous musings are interesting. You tell them they're not losing their boyish good looks or becoming worn out. And... I stand corrected. And may I say, it's been a real pleasure chatting with you. Cilla's clean, surgical margins look clear, no lymphadenopathy, no masses, no nothing. It's not cancer. We need a new theory. We catch her lying? Not yet. Wouldn't no have been a shorter answer? Wouldn't you not talking and made this a shorter conversation? Kid says mom's a slut. She called her mom a slut? No, I called her mom a slut. She jumps anything with a pull and a pulse. Not that I'm judging here. 
Given her medical history, I'm actually impressed. Maggie already admitted to having multiple sexual partners, which is why we already tested for and ruled out syphilis and any other STD that could have caused her symptoms. STDs aren't the only risk in risky sex. The problem in sleeping with strangers is they're strange. We'll follow up with any recent partners. Send Foreman and Taub. They're better liars. More likely to get to the truth. You think I drugged her? Use a coaster. We're not cops. Legally, we don't care one way or another. But we need to know the truth so we can help her. I'd known her for less than an hour, and she offered to take me home. There was no need to drug her. <laughs> not that I would. She's going to be OK, right? As long as she doesn't have to pick up or hold anything. Uh, sorry, I just had the floors done. Reclaimed pine. You always this thirsty? I don't know. Water's supposed to be good for you, right? Dehydration, anxiety, aggression. I'm not aggressive. It's past the Korean, his right hand. What about my hand? How much you weigh? About 180, 190? 180, what if is this? If you took what she did, it could take longer to hit you. It might affect you differently. But you didn't give her anything, right? She was really drunk. I just gave her some E to help enhance things. Have any of it left? Is my hand gonna be okay? There's nothing wrong with it. We lied. <laughs>